Hey, Karen Rolf here. In my program, I often talk about the importance of giving your horses some freedom and choice. And I also talk about the power of being with your horse rather than always thinking of what you're doing with your horse. Those are kind of interesting concepts and they sound really good, but sometimes it's hard to picture what that actually will look like put into practice. Today when I was out in the barn, a little situation arise that was a perfect example of this. So I just took out my phone and I grabbed some awkward shaky video of it. I was clipping one of my horses, Natia, and my little filly, Cora, got a chance to experience the clippers. I gave her the opportunity to just be with the clippers. It was really tempting to want to be like, okay, now let's get Cora used to the clipper. Instead, I tried to ignore Cora as much as possible, while at the same time keeping my awareness of her and my peripheral vision. Now she was totally at liberty. She could have left at any time onto the whole property. The lack of the pressure is what helped make her really comfortable. Just letting her be with the clippers and it worked out really, really well. So here you can see she's kind of intrigued by it, but she's still pretty tense. So the filly's still hanging around, but she stays on the opposite side than where the clippers are and entertains herself with other things. And I can still feel she's a little bit edgy about it. A few moments later, she's actually put herself on the same side as the clippers and has moved in a little closer. And her whole energy was just a little bit softer. And she even got up enough confidence to reach out and touch it. So I didn't make a big deal about her touching it, I just carried on with the clipping. And here you can see a much more soft look in her eye and her ears. And she's starting to just be much more curious and playful feeling. And you might be thinking, what's the big deal? I'm not really doing anything. And that's the whole point. Sometimes we work too hard and we can get just as good a result by just being with them instead of trying to do so much. The most powerful lessons are the ones they figure out on their own. So there's a really calm look on her face. She's really just kind of hanging out, looking almost a little sleepy, which is lovely. Here I've moved back to Natia's haunches and she stepped forward to be even closer to the clippers again. And I'm just the whole time trying to notice without reacting or responding to her. I'm just carrying on with the clipping. But again, nice soft look. And then she starts nudging me while I'm clipping. So making contact with me while I'm holding the clippers and then that quickly transferred over to her wanting to investigate the clippers themselves. And so I wanted to make sure I didn't, I didn't point the sharp end of the clippers towards her. So I let her investigate the, <laughs> the softer end of it. And yes, I am being very careful here that she does not eat the wires. So carry on with the clipping. And then pretty quickly she's... Uh, trying to make contact with the clippers again. I let her do it. And again, you gotta just watch it. You know, you don't want her to eat the wires. So I'm very aware, but that to me is a huge success. So the next time you want a result with your horse, think about how you need to be with your horse before you think about what you need to do with your horse. And if you want to hear a little bit more about this being and doing thing uh, in my podcast horse training and harmony uh, episode 40 is all about being and doing and i will leave a link in the description where i do a whole training on freedom and choice all right enjoy <laughs>